Hey guys, I'm Jamie, and did you just see my to-do list? I have a lot I need to get done in the next two days, and I am bringing you along. We're going to be doing so much cleaning. I'm going to be cleaning my whole house and doing a lot of deep cleaning outside. You guys are going to see me go places I've never gone before, cleaning places I've never cleaned before. I'm going to be scrubbing out my outdoor garbage can and recycling bin i have never cleaned those before but i was recently inspired to do that and you're going to see me power washing them and then scrubbing them from the inside so let's get ready let's get down and dirty and let's get ready to get things done So I started out the first day of cleaning by making my bed and earlier this morning I had noticed that we had a lot of cat fur pushed up against the baseboards so I figured before I went outside to do some deep cleaning I was going to vacuum around the baseboards and take care of all of that. So. Our cat likes to sit right there in the corner and I just got tired of seeing all of the fur up there against the baseboards and it kind of grossed me out. So I wanted to take care of that first and foremost, but then I was going to go downstairs and I wanted to clean up my kitchen cabinets, wipe them all down before going outside. It was kind of rainy outside at this point in the morning and very gloomy. So I was waiting for the rain to stop before I went out there. To wipe down my cabinets, I was just using a microfiber cloth and then some Dawn and water. We recently had our cabinets painted and as a lot of you guys know, um, I love my white cabinets by the way, but when the painters came in to paint the cabinets, when they left, they said when you're cleaning, just use a very gentle cleaner. You don't need to use any harsh chemicals or anything, just use a... Um, a, a basic cleaner and so I was using Dawn which has a neutral pH it's mild but it also does a really good job of removing grease if I'm the bad one take a look at yourself in the mirror if I'm the worst one ask anybody else who do you prefer if it comes down to me and you holding up right now i like creating a community here on youtube and i'm always talking to you but you guys don't really get to talk back as much so i'm curious how you guys are holding up with you know if you're homeschooling your kids or maybe your school your kids are in school and that can be a little stressful holidays are coming up and there's just a lot going on in the united states and in the world right now so I'm just curious how you guys are doing, how you're holding up. I hope you're doing all right. If there's anything that you're going through, you need someone to talk to, you can always message me. I'm always here to help you guys out. I want my channel to be an escape for you, bring you joy and happiness, and hopefully I can create a space for you like that when you're watching my videos or you're watching my stories on Instagram. <laughs>
It was a Saturday and I have my little helper Avery with me. She's five and if you guys are new to my channel, my husband um, was hanging with our 18 month old twins. So we have three daughters, 18 month old twins, and then a five year old. So a lot of people will ask me what my husband is doing while I'm cleaning and 99% of the time he's with the twins because they can't just come outside and help me like Avery likes to do. He's a really great dad and loves being around all three of our girls. So it's always easy for me to get stuff done because I don't have to worry about the kids You know, even though I try to work my stuff around their nap time um, It's obviously not always easy to do that or I can't always do that. So he's always here to help me get things done I live in the northern part of Ohio and at this point in the year it's pretty cold. I got really lucky today. It was fairly mild. I think it was in the high 50s so it was a perfect day to finish up cleaning outside and if you missed my video from last week I deep cleaned the back part of our house. I will have that video linked down below if you want to check it out. So today I'm focusing on the front part of our house. I'm not going to get to do this for many months so I had planned on cleaning the windows, cleaning our screens, the window screens power washing the front porch and then again i'm going to be cleaning our garbage can and recycling bin and what a task that was you guys have to see me crawl into the garbage can but the best solution to clean windows is just water and dawn if you're curious and then i have this little handy window cleaning tool that lets me get all of my windows nice and clean see i'll try to let go it's not easy you know Something's not meant to be, let's skip the apologies ooh, 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 ooh. But I can help that I miss you now And I need to reminisce this cause We're still at a moment and they keep coming back to me yeah. I can help that I miss you now Can't help that I miss you now To clean my window screens, which I will admit to you, it has been years since my window screens have been cleaned, but I used ammonia and water. You just take three parts water and one part ammonia, and I put on my gloves to protect my hands and just used a microfiber cloth, and they were pretty dirty. If you guys have Instagram, I would love for you to come over and find me, say hi. I love chatting with you over there as well as here on YouTube. 
but feel free to leave a comment on this video where we can chat and create more of a community but I also love chatting with you over on Instagram a lot of you guys will you know private message me and if you want to know more about my life more about my kids more than just cleaning that's where you can find all of that Jamie content I will have my Instagram linked below I'll admit to you guys, I'm going to be a little bit sad when it's like full on winter here because I'm not going to be able to bust out my power washer for like six or seven months. I probably won't even be able to bust it out in April because even then it'll probably still be a little chilly. So I'm enjoying this power washer right now. All right, so the girls had baked ziti for lunch, and this was a mess. And I'll admit to you guys, I kind of let them have the baked ziti because I knew I had the power washer out, and I could just bring these babies outside, clean up the mess super easily. Um, Baked ziti is one of the twins' favorite meals, and I love that they love it. I mean, who doesn't love baked ziti, spaghetti, lasagna, or meals like that? But it's just so messy, especially with twins, and I hate messes. So just makes it easier that I can bring the high chairs out here and power wash all of that away. So this is what I've been waiting to do. Is it it's yucky. <laughs> I'm not getting in there. I'm not swimming in there. Uh, yeah, so we are going to clean this out. Ooh. And clean this one out too. So I got to actually tip it over to get all of that stuff out. But oh, we're going to do this, guys. Just to let it go, cut the cable short. 
so I promise we recycle but I think the milk jug and Mountain Dew jug had gotten out of the recycling bin and Avery had accidentally put it in the garbage so I removed the rest of that stuff from the garbage bin and then I power washed everything the power washer honestly took care of most of the crud that was in there and you can even see some paint chips that we had on here which I'm not even sure why we had paint chips on there but it did come right off with the power washer so I just had to keep power washing it dumping all the water out and then I added some Dawn dish soap and then I power washed it all again and you can see Avery here in a little bit she was having fun playing in all of the water that was going down the driveway um, you could also use bleach if you're cleaning out your garbage can or if you have a garbage can that was really bad try using bleach but I wanted to start and go as mild as possible and luckily the Dawn and power washer took care of all of the gross mess that was in there to show it to you oh yeah you can't see it here so we had some paint chips in here that I was able to get off I wasn't able to get all of them but there was a big paint big one that came off that there was like a piece of cardboard paper sign that was stuck at the bottom but I'll probably give it one more pass through but I think this looks pretty good Okay, one more thing. What I'm going to do is now that I am done cleaning the garbage can, I'm going to put in some cleaning vinegar. This is different than just regular white distilled vinegar. It's stronger. You cannot consume this. So I usually keep this around um, for the tough jobs. And so I'm going to put this in the bottom of the garbage can and kind of let it sit for a few hours um, before we dump it out and that'll just deodorize it and add some extra cleaning power before we throw in the garbage. <laughs> I know this is gross, but honestly, it was a lot of fun for me to clean the garbage can and recycling bin. And maybe you guys think I'm crazy, but it was just fun. It was a little different for me, and it was also very satisfying to see everything come clean. But when I'm done with this, I was going to be done for the day. But then on day two, you're going to see me clean the rest of the house. So stay tuned for way more cleaning motivation. another day and I am going to be working on this list so um, I think what I'm gonna do now and it just feels so good to see some of that stuff crossed off already definitely motivation to keep going and finish it hopefully um, okay so what I'm gonna do now is scrub out and clean the oven um, clean the half bath that's around the corner and then I'm gonna go into the basement which is full of toys 
and stay tuned because I'm gonna be organizing that here soon before the holiday season. But I'm just gonna get it cleaned up and vacuumed down there today. I don't care if you don't So in the past, I've used a variety of products to clean my oven, but this Easy Off Oven Cleaner, I've had um, a ton of people recommend, and I use it on my parents' gas top stove and oven, and it works really good, so I figured I should try it out on my oven, um, which I'm sure, I'm not sure why I never tried it before. So I thought I'd try it out for you guys, and all you have to do is spray it on there, and you let it sit for at least an hour. So I sprayed it on the oven and then went into the bathroom that is off of our kitchen just to wipe things down. And I've been really lucky lately. I've been scoring some disinfecting wipes from Target. Most of the time they are the Target brand, but I've been scoring them. So I was using those wipes to wipe down the bathroom, and then I was going to move on to the basement and the girls' bathroom and clean some more. So this week was a lot less chaotic than the previous week. And if you missed it, my youngest daughter, one of my twins, Emery, had something growing on her face that kind of looked like a pimple and it ended up growing over about a three week span and it ended up bursting last week three separate times and it bled and bled and bled we were in the emergency room one night because we couldn't get it to stop bleeding we saw four different doctors and it was just a crazy week and this week she's doing great it seems to be healing no issues at all so a lot more sleep a lot less blood a lot less crying and it was just not not too crazy of a week but i wanted to hop upstairs because the twins were going to be going down for their nap and i wanted to get their bathroom cleaned up before i went back downstairs to finish up in the oven and the basement because i could be as loud as i wanted to down there but wanted to take care of their bathroom before they went to bed But to wipe down the bathroom, I was using the Jaws foaming, foaming bathroom cleaner on the tub and the vanity. And then I was just using some old mirror cleaner um, that I'm trying to use up on the mirror. And then I was using the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray for the cabinets. I love using the multi-surface spray Mrs. Myers for cabinets. And I like using it in the lavender scent upstairs. Right now I'm using the Mrs. Myers acorn spice in the kitchen, but I love using the lavender upstairs. For some reason, I just feel like it's calming and I like having that scent throughout the upstairs on the day that I'm cleaning. You So I feel like with a lot of people, and I'm guilty of this as well, we focus on the negative parts of our day, of our week. And so I want to know what are some good things that 
that's happening in your life right now? What are some things that are bringing you joy and happiness? Or maybe what are some things that you're looking forward to? I just want to share some, you know, happiness and good times and positivity. I was pretty impressed with this easy off oven cleaner. I don't cook a lot in my oven, you guys know that. Um, and I do a lot of my cooking um, using the crock pot, but of course we still use our oven, just probably not as much as other people. So it wasn't too bad, not too dirty, but it did take a lot of the stuff off that was burnt on the bottom of the oven and I didn't have to scrub. So it just came right off. So it required minimal scrubbing, so I, I'd be interested to try it when I my oven was really dirty. So if you guys try it out with your dirty oven, let me know what you think. And then I popped downstairs to pick up the toys in the basement and I also wanted to vacuum the stairs. I am so ready to organize this basement. You guys can't really tell, but when I was down here cleaning, I was kind of in a, a horrible mood because you know when you are like cleaning your house, you're doing things, and then you just get annoyed because of a certain mess or things not being picked up and things being dirty. That's how I got when I was downstairs. We just have too much stuff. I need to get rid of stuff. I need to organize. So before the holiday season, my goal is to come down here, declutter, organize, and make room for new stuff because it's going to happen. It's the holidays. Um, we don't buy the kids a ton of stuff, but we have big extended families. And even though we have a lot of family members who do give money to put in like savings accounts for education or things like that, um, they still get a good bit of toys because we have a big extended family. So I want to make for sure we have room for all of that. So I guess it's hard because I wanted to get I, I want to get rid of a lot of toys, but most of these toys are kind of in between the twins' age or maybe where the twins are at just now and then Avery's. Um, we kept all of the toys from, you know, like when Avery was two and three and four. So a lot of these toys, the um, Avery doesn't really play with, but I know that the twins are going to get to that stage where they want a kitchen and they want, you know, baby strollers and all of that stuff. So I don't want to get rid of the stuff, but it just gets very overwhelming when there's a lot of stuff. So I don't know. I think that's pretty normal for a lot of parents, but I will still be decluttering because I know there's stuff we can donate and get rid of. I had thrown in some laundry earlier in the day and I wanted to get all of that folded and put away and then I was going to do a basic pickup and wipe down of our master bathroom before finishing up for the day and I was going to go hang with the family and relax. There's nothing better than having a successful two days worth of cleaning, having the house sort of clean because let's be honest, do you think my downstairs at this point is clean? I mean it's probably clean, it's just 
messy. Um, but either way, it was a successful two day of cleaning. My house is clean and I get to go relax with the family. good to cross that all off so thanks for sticking around making it through all of this i hope no matter what you guys are doing no matter how you're feeling today no matter what you're going through just know that you're not alone just because i had a successful past couple of days doesn't mean that you have to um i have my down days i have my days where i don't get anything done where i'm just in a bad mood it happens i'm human so either way i hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe i kept you company maybe you feel like we're friends cleaning together whatever it is thank you so much but you know there'll be more content coming out i'm excited for the holidays excited for the new year and all that's to come here on my channel and all of that so make sure you're following me on instagram and you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on and i will see you guys next time to people Bye. like us struggling to come